Hey guys, this is Meredith Baker reporting for On the Map, Off the Radar, doing a dispatch from the edge of a continental plate. I'm actually here in Iceland in Reykjavik, and here I have Siobhan White, who is dive shop manager and technician for Dive.is, and she's going to talk to us a little bit about the Silfra Frisier, which is a scuba dive that I actually did this morning, and it was the most amazing dive ever, and she's going to tell us why it's so special. So first off, thank you so much for taking no the worries, time. No worries, no problem. And could you tell us a little bit about the Silfra Frisier and how it was formed, and how it actually could be that you could be in two places at once <laughs> when you're in the Silfra Frisier? Yeah, so it's the divide between the two continental plates, as you mentioned. Um, so back. Uh, Eurasian and the then. Eurasian and the North American, yeah. So back about 150 million years ago, the, when everything started to separate out, there was basically a lava upflowing between them that created the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which is a 65,000 kilometer long mountain range. And where does that spin from where to so where? So it goes from um, Greenland mm -hmm. all the way down to the, to the South Atlantic. So basically kind of down at the South to Pole. To the Azores, right? Uh, all the, the way the further south, further, further south, basically down to Antarctica. And it was, oh sorry, so it was Iceland and the Azores that were formed yeah. by this ridge. Yeah, so they are islands that are formed on the ridge. Most of this mountain range lies about 2,500 meters below sea level. So there's only few places where it actually comes up above the ocean and the Azores and Iceland are basically the only two kind of real ones that lie right on the ridge line. And that's why Iceland is so unique or yeah. another planet to itself. Basically, right? it's what creates a lot of the volcanoes here. Iceland's actually got the most volcanoes anywhere in the world. So uh, it is pretty spectacular from that point of view. But uh, obviously today what you were seeing is actually where the two plates are, s are separating, where they're actually dividing up and kind of creating that rift valley between the, two, between the two plates. And that is something, you get rift valleys in different parts of the world, but actually being able to dive in them, that is something that is truly unique here to Iceland. So it's the only place in the world where you can dive Yeah, between. we have uh, a couple of other fissures up in the north that lie on the same fault line, um, which are kind of like Silver's little sisters. Um, but yeah, Iceland is the only place where you can dive between two continental plates. And what is the actual width between, because I, I could put my hands on either side of either yeah. continental plate being like, oh, I'm a little homesick for America right now. <laughs> um, so what is the actual span at the closest point? Do you know? um, where you're touching there is pretty much the, is the closest point that still exists within that exact kind of fissure fault line there. Uh, and that is about, I mean, what's, what's my arm span here? Like, yeah, a meter, <laughs> a meter or so, maybe four feet. Okay. So, uh, uh, yeah, that is pretty much the narrowest it gets. And you, it drifts each year by a few yep. centimeters, correct? Yeah, about two centimeters each year. Um, you don't always see that, like when you kind of go in one year and then the next year, you're not necessarily going to see. Oh, it's bigger. Uh, it's a little bit over time, but it works out as an average of about two two centimeters every year or so. And I'm still in awe and slightly still defrosting from the dive <laughs> this morning, but if you could kind of talk us through what the dive site is like for the viewers to get a kind of visual. Yeah, so uh, what makes it so special as well is actually the visibility. Um, the water in, uh, in Silfra is actually glacial meltwater and that's been filtered through the lava rocks, so it's drinking water basically. I had some, um, it was yeah. so refreshing. <laughs> it is, it's really tasty isn't it? <laughs> Pre-chilled. Uh, it does mean it's pretty cold though, as you noticed. Yes. It's, uh, it's about two degrees Celsius, so I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit, but somewhere around 38 I think. Yeah. It's pretty chilly, um, but of course that, that visibility is amazing. And as you said, you can come down, touch both sides there at the narrowest point right at the start and then kind of come up, come over some shallow areas where all the rocks have fallen in, come down into some bigger areas with giant rocks in them, come into cathedral. It's 120 meters long and you can see from one end to the other. So it's yeah, that one was remarkable. pretty and spectacular. After that, it changed, the bottom changed from rock to yeah. sulfur. Uh, to silt, or yeah, silt. like kind of a, a really loose, kind of, I guess it's like degraded um, algaes and stuff like that mixed in with some sand and that's just been traveling through on the current that's in there gets trapped at that point where it's kind of rising up and then um, that becomes remains the bottom composition for the rest of the dive coming around into the lagoon there 
again more 120 meter distances that you can see there so pretty much the clearest water in the world yeah this was amazing it was definitely a highlight of my trip to iceland That's what and like to. i guess even if people don't have their dive certification there can be they can come snorkeling. on snorkeling yeah so it is required that you are a certified diver here because it is a national park and unesco world heritage site they have a lot of strict regulations um, but snorkeling is a really nice easy relaxing way to see it as well yeah and what was so crazy to me was a the visibility but b exiting the dive and just all of my under armor and <laughs> leggings were completely dry. I've never done a dry suit dive before, but it was incredible and definitely worth the massive defrost <laughs> of my hands after. Well, um, thank you so much. No this has been On the Map, Off the Radar, live from Reykjavik. And as they say in Iceland, bless, bless. Bless, bless. Bye, guys. <laughs>